This is everything that you need to know about the upcoming Assassin's Creed games. Ubisoft just had a massive event talking about gameplay and story updates on their Assassin's Creed titles, starting with Assassin's Creed Codename Jade. We already knew about this game's name a while ago, but we had no idea what we were getting into. And now we do. I'm not super excited, but here's what you need to know. Codename Jade is going to be set in China. They only gave us a small little preview of the story trailer, which basically sets you up to explore the hidden treasures and details in Imperial China. China. You're walking through a chamber with a lot of statues, a shrine, and then you are thrusted out to explore the world right at the wall of China. We also saw a little bit of gameplay with some of the major weapons in the game. And just from this small preview, I can already know that they are adapting some gameplay mechanics that we saw from Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla. It seems to be emulating the RPG elements instead of the classic Assassin's Creed parkour style, and it does look like Odyssey, at least from the bits that they showed us. That's suspicious. The only issue is that it is, unfortunately, a mobile game. What? What the fuck? Stop it. Get some help. I was hoping that they were going to reserve the China storyline for a full mainline game, but you are going to be able to play this on mobile with a beta that is open now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. The full game looks to be releasing in 2024, but here is what we all expected to see, Assassin's Creed Mirage. The game director wasted no time in letting us know that this is a full homage to the first few Assassin's Creed titles. The official release date for this game is slated for October 12th of 2023. And through the story trailer, we learned that we are going to be stepping into the shoes of Basim, a young assassin that gets recruited into the order and has to explore the city of Baghdad in the year 861. This is the golden age of the city, since it's going to be destroyed like five centuries later. So, at least from what they said, the environment is going to be full of life as you explore all of the culture, art, knowledge, and innovation that is known from that period. We also know that the game is going to be structured in an open city concept, not an open world. Baghdad itself is going to be split into four different districts, of which we were only able to see the industrial and the gardens, at least from the gameplay that they showed at the event. Ubisoft already said that they have focused on going away from the RPG elements of Odyssey, Origins, and Valhalla. Wow, that looks like a whole bunch of bullshit. And focus more on the Assassin's Creed 1 type of feel. Parkour! Which means that there is going to be a heavy emphasis on stealth, parkour, and blending into your environment. Besides the city itself, though, you are going to be able to explore the Tower Fortress of Alamut, which is the base of operations for the Assassin Order. Boom, blam, close. Parkour. This is actually really interesting, at least to me, because Alamut has been mentioned in other entries, but we have never had the chance to actually explore it. Another aspect of the story that actually caught my eye is the fact that Basim is not perfect. He is troubled by nightmares and visions. He is a broken man with a tragic past that gets recruited into the Order and has to deal with everything at the same time. This entry is taking Assassin's Creed back to its roots. I'm personally a big fan of the RPG elements, but this one is a nice change of pace. So no, there's not going to be any RPG leveling systems for your character character or your weapons. Stealth and maneuverability are going to be your elements of success, but we also learned a little bit more about the weapons. You're going to have grenades, smoke bombs, gas mines, as well as the ability to have throwing knives, swords, and of course, your hidden blade. With all of this arsenal, you can plan strategically out for your missions. On top of that, Ubisoft also announced that there's going to be some sort of expansion at some point in the production cycle, which from what we know so far is more than likely going to be a supernatural themed expansion, which of of course, is based on the tale of Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. This is apparently going to be free for anybody that pre-orders the game. For free? Yes. Along with a cosmetic set. I'm not sure how that's gonna look, but I'll let you know once I do. Hey! My wallet! Assassin's Creed Codename Jade will be available on mobile, so yeah. And Assassin's Creed Mirage will be available on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One S and One X, and of course, on PC. So the game is coming out in October. We have a little bit of time to prepare. I'm gonna be in the comments so you can let me know. Do you want to play these games? And if you wanna learn a little bit more about the other big releases happening next year, this is a video on Star Wars Outlaws, the newest Ubisoft open world Star Wars game. I covered everything that you need to know, and I also made this video talking about God of War and what I think the adaptation will need to succeed. Have a beautiful day, familia. I'll see you in the comments.